food is uh, a product of uh, migration and uh, the rich, the, uh, it enriches uh, a society, you know, and with food we can talk about our problems. I think it's the most basic human need. It was uh, 5 Mai uh, in 2007, and that was my first demonstration in the Netherlands. Yeah? <laughs> and uh, in the Philippines, it was a uh, mensen rechten and activist. Mm -hmm. was never arrested. Eh? Maar hier de eerste keer. In Nederland. Nee. In Nederland. Je kookt heel veel. Ja. Hè? Ja. En je gaat, straks ga je dit gerecht maken voor overvecht. Ga je bezorgen? Ja, ja. Uh, iemand is uh, jarig. Mm -hmm. En uh, ze, ze hebben een uh, uh, roast uh, chicken uh, besteld. Warm your basil before using it. Then it comes out, the flavor comes out more. So. And in the kip do. Helemaal. Helemaal. Yeah. <laughs> je komt oorspronkelijk uit de Filipijnen. Ja, yeah, yeah. ik, ik kwam uh, in de Nederland in 2003. I came here for uh, to speak in different universities to speak in over the and mine bow company in the in the Filipijnen and the and the mensen recht in Scandingen and this in the relaties uh, tussen mm -hmm. de twee dingen. Mm -hmm. When I was about to go home. Ik heb uh, mijn, mijn vrouw uh, heb ik gebeld en ze zei dat uh, ik kan niet meer na naar huis kan. Ik kan niet meer terugkomen naar de Filipijnen. Dat, uh, het was voor mij gevaarlijk. En waarom? Omdat u zich inzet voor de mensenrechten? Ja, ja, ja dat was, uh, moet uh, niet zo... Uh, hoe zeg je dat in Nederland? Je kan niet tegen de government. And my wife, she does the fine tuning of the taste. I do the major preparation, but the taste, it's her. Daar heb je lang haar. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. When I left the Philippines, ik heb uh, een afspraak gemaakt met uh, met mijn vrouw. She said uh, she wanted to cut my hair. I said, okay, I'm coming back in two weeks. Cut my hair in two weeks. I ha I had to stay here. I was stranded in the Netherlands. And three years later, uh, Michi and the children came here. And that was the only time that I cut my hair. So it really grew up to, up to my back. So <laughs> uh, I, I love it because she really waited because she said, yeah. my wife is cutting my hair. Yeah. So and that was the only thing that I could do to express our connection mm -hmm. uh, because we were torn apart by the situation. Mm -hmm. And the hair was uh, more or less a symbol of our connection. Yeah, and then a couple of years later, uh, she was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. So she had an operation, she had to go uh, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. So she started losing her hair. So what she did, she just shaved off everything. And I thought, and I thought okay, um, I'm going to do this with you. So I also shaved off all my hair. So for several years, I was... Uh, <laughs> you were bold. Yeah, I was bold with her. You are preparing for your own cooking, yeah, yeah. Uh, cooking tube. show on the internet. So we're, we're going to start that. So it's going to be cooking and food and politics. So we will try to invite guests as well mm -hmm. who will show us a recipe while we talk about the politics of food. Maar ik ben wel nieuwsgierig van als ik over een jaar terugkom. Mm -hmm. Waar droom je van? Wat zou je graag willen? Ik weet niet. Ik weet niet precies nu. Omdat ik kan niet... To, to fair in the in the toekomst te kijken mm. dat uh, ik heb geen carrière ik heb geen vast werk en ik ben niet zeker hoe lang ik kan hier in de Nederlands blijven mm. uh, maar ik wil natuurlijk uh, een restaurant uh, willen hebben ja, maar niet een gewoon een restaurant met eten met kunst en de interactie tussen mensen we can talk over our own dreams and our aspirations. Most restaurants would be very, very nice food, but then they do it to help people forget about the real life, you know? Mm -hmm. You go there to relax. I want a restaurant where people can confront their problems and talk about uh, uh, the issues that they are confronted with and maybe find other people who have the same problems and then start a relationship and they could work together.